Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is to answer several questions about 25H2. So most of us are now on 24H2, and you can actually um, go to the search and type the WinVer command, which is Windows version, and see by yourself where you are, and it should tell you 24H2. There's a small number of people that are still stuck on 23H2. That technically should change over the next few weeks as some blockers are removed. Now, if you're on 24H2, the question that I have received several times in the last couple of weeks is, is it safe to move to 25H2 and how can I go on and do it? And do I absolutely need to venture into getting into the insider program? So the answer is no. There's a way to actually have the enablement package and install 25H2 and you'll be there. Now, uh, other questions concerning 25H2 is about the rollout of 25H2 and what are the new features. And this is where um, it's uh, very um, <clears throat> interesting. <clears throat> First of all, if you're going to 25H2 to get new features, tell yourself that there's not much new features right now. Um, Microsoft did say that whatever feature 25H2 will get, they'll be available on 24H2 also, which means you can just stay on 24H2 and, you know, wait for those new features to arrive, especially if you've got 24H2 and it works fine. Why move on if, you know, if things are right? But, you know, enthusiasts are enthusiasts, so some of you want to move on and maybe are interested to move on anyways. So I have my gaming laptop that is actually on 25H2 because it's in the Windows Insider program. So the steps, first of all, in which this is going to happen if you don't do anything and you want to wait for it to arrive on your PC, the first steps is that within the next few weeks, I don't think we're far off right now. Um, we are in the release preview for 25H2, which means it's being kind of it's the last um, place to be tested before it moves on. Um, the first option will be that when Microsoft decides to release 25H2, which I would guess will be sometime in October, it will do it as it always does with seekers first. What's a seeker? A seeker is somebody that goes and checks manually its Windows update and you know, clicks the check for update to see what's out there. If you do that manually um, and your PC doesn't have any blockers, it's compatible, and you're one of those chosen few, you probably will see an enablement package, Windows 11 25H2, pop up. It's a small update, actually. So that update will push your machine into 25H2 when the time comes. It's not yet going to happen. Sometime in October, probably, this is going to happen. So that'll be the first step, seekers. Then the second step is they're going to start opening the update to 25H2 to compatible machines slowly. So you'll see, like, when you move from 23H2 to 24H2, a little bubble, a little pop-up in Windows Update that's going to say, oh, by the way, you're ready to install 25H2 if you want it now. So that will be the second step, and some of you will be choosing to do so. Um, with telemetry, of course, the telemetry tells Microsoft which computers are usually safe to have that install. And as time goes by, the uh, they're going to open more and more computers to that as they test it out at the same time while it's being released. If you want it now, and not wait. Um, word of caution, it's uh, not necessarily always a good idea to go to operating systems that are still in test phase. Windows Insider release preview is rather, you know, rather safe, but you never know. Um, but that's the warning that I give. If you want it now, you can go into the Windows Update, go into Windows Insider program, and here you can actually activate the Windows Insider program and put yourself in a release preview. So once you're in the Windows Insider program in release preview, when you restart your machine, you should be getting 
the Windows update um, should be getting the 25H2 version because it will show up at some point. If that isn't the way you want to do it, some have asked me, is there a way to not go to the Insider program to get it? Yeah, you can actually download from Microsoft an enablement package. Look at the description below and you will see I posted a link. This link is the enablement package for uh, Windows 25 H2, Windows 11. It's this here, you see it here on the, on the top. Um, this is the enablement package that I will share. This is the KB that actually updates. So it says Windows standalone installer. Do you want to install the following software update? If you do that, you're on 25H2. I'll say no for this machine, but uh, you can say yes. It will not take very long. It's not a very big install. And you will be coming back with a restart that says that you're on 25H2. And you will be getting all the um, you know bug fixes and the uh, security updates. And you will already be there. So the link to that download package is in the description below. That will move you directly to 25H2. From 24H2, it's very important, you're on 23H2. Don't try it, this will not work. You have to be already on 24H2. So these are the few things, but remember, you won't see much, and you won't see much changes. So this is where I say, just wait for it to happen and get to your PC, you know, when it does. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.